Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Safi Eric Dotter, and this was a card that just, I want to say two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, I said was amazing, and I really liked her in the combo, and I was going to test her in my deck, I tested her, she was okay, uh, it was an interesting, it's a budget version of the current deck, so the current Malera pod I have involves black, and it involves black for two, bi two basic reasons for that. 1-1 one, one guy, that's your sack outlet, and as well as for a murderous red cap. But other than that, I mean, just having a black in the deck is kind of meh to me. This deck is just green-white, so it does not need... This version of the deck I'm testing, which is a Malera pod and includes this combo, is green-white, so it does not need black. And that's why... And the reason that's so important is because Vernon Catacombs is like the most expensive card in that deck so if you cut off Vernon catacombs four of those then you're pretty much home free like you have a budget deck now when i last made the video two weeks ago she was only i think three dollars maybe 250 online and now she is 10 pushing on ten dollars nine dollars and fifty cents and i love this i always say this if you have a legendary creature and it is bulk Keep it every single time. Keep your bulk because that's the only thing that's going to spike in price nowadays. 70 cents five years ago or four and a half years ago to $10 is crazy. So I'll explain the combo one last time and I'll show you the time stamp of the video. I like it because when you're making speculations, uh, it's very easy to know if you're right or wrong because every video you make has a time stamp on it. So it's not like, oh, I can fake it, right? It's kind of like when you make an order in TCG Player and it gives you a receipt. You can't really fake it. Anyways, Renegade Rallier, Safi Eric Dotter, and Blasting Station. I have not found a better outlet than Blasting Station yet, but someone leave me a comment if you have one. I need a cheaper one. So Blasting Station costs free mana, but it's okay because it's not you know, a different color. It's can be played in every deck. So Rallier reads one a green a white. It is from A for Revolt. So this combo is new, and you do have some. You did have some time to buy this, the pieces. The only piece that really matters is Safi, right? Because the Renegade is a common in a recently released set, and the Blasting Station has always been part of this combo, and probably is not the ideal piece yet. I haven't found the ideal piece yet. I feel like there's got to be something faster. But anyway, the Renegade Rallier will revolt, uh, and you will be able to turn on revolt when it enters the battlefield. If a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, return target permanent card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So Safi has you know mana cost of two or less. Actually, I just thought about what card that we need. We need that card from Soul Sisters, right, to gain life every time something enters play, so we can gain infinite life that way. And we can curve out on turn three. Yeah, okay, that's the card we need. We don't really need Blasting Station. So uh, Safi reads, a green and a white. Sacrifice Safi, Eric, daughter. When target player is put into your graveyard from play this turn, return that card. Obviously, the Renegade returns Safi. Safi returns the Renegade. You got to sack the Renegade again for Safi to trigger again. And it just repeats infinite. So if we had that card that could gain one life, that costs one white, and it gains one life for every time we could put a creature in play, we gain infinite life on turn three. And we can Coco for each of these pieces. Or, or Call of Courting, or Cord of Calling. So I made this video January 7, exactly two weeks ago, and you had plenty of time to pick up a playset, maybe multiple playsets. I picked up, for testing, I picked up uh, four different playsets, one in foil. And the foil was kind of pricey. I don't know if the foil has gone up in price. Because I like to just run... I mean, if the card is $2.50, that's why I paid for it, then picking up multiple playsets, one to trade away, one to put in your regular deck, one to put in a kind of budget janky version of the deck, and then one just to like have for a friend. And then this combo, when it came out, was extremely cheap and easy to um, produce. Like... The, the the new combo piece is an uncommon from a, a set. So, of course, the the card that will go up 
is Safi, right? There's no other card that would in limited availability that will spike if this combo becomes tested. Does this combo have to be a tier one deck? No. Does the combo have to be a tier two deck? No. What the combo needs to do is it needs to be a budget version of an already existing deck. And Malera Pod is a very expensive deck. So if you already have Malera Pod and you don't want to buy the Verdant Catacombs, which is a lot of people, you can make a cheaper budget version. And you can still run Malera Pod. I mean, she's still green and Kitchen Finks is still green white. And to be quite honest, you can just use Blasting Station. Blasting Station has been very good, but I feel like it's a little too slow for modern. So I'm trying to find something that will allow me to sacrifice a creature and deal damage. That would be a good card for this deck. Anyway, leave me ideas for the combo. I'm sure there's many ways to improve it. Mainly, mainly the Blasting Station part would be a great improve. That's the part I'm struggling with. It just costs a little too much to get it out there. Uh, and to not you know, have your opponent know what you're doing. <laughs> you know, Okay, I'm going to do this. Please don't kill these guys. Uh, they do a good job of protecting themselves, though, this particular piece of combo. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you guys are excited for this deck or if you did buy some of her. Anyway, bye guys.